Hello everyone, um, greetings. Today we embark on a remarkable journey uh, through time and civilizations as we explore what you can expect from your high school world history class too. Over the next few minutes, we'll uncover the fascinating tapestry of human history, starting from ancient civilizations which are to be covered in World History 1 or were covered for you, to modern global interactions. So why do we take history? It's a glimpse into the past. Why do we need it? We develop an understanding of the world. We become a more rounded people. We understand identity, become inspired, learn from mistakes, develop transferable skills. In your world history class, you'll travel back in, in time to discover the origins of human societies, which is covered in World History 1. You'll study the rise and fall of civilizations, explore their cultural achievements, political structures, and societal norms. You'll understand the cultural diversity. You get ready to embark a world of diversity through the study of different cultures, religions, and belief systems. You'll gain a deeper understanding of the rich tapestry of human experiences across continents and centuries. You'll analyze the historical change over time because history is a story of change and continuity. Your world history class will teach you how to analyze shifts in societies, economies, and political landscapes, helping you comprehend the forces that have shaped the world we live in. You will examine the global interactions. You will prepare yourselves to explore the interconnectedness of the world. You'll investigate trade networks, cultural exchanges, and diplomatic relationships, discovering how civilizations and other cultures have interacted and influenced one another over time. You will unveil key turning points in history, as World, history, uh, as world War I and World War II, because history is punctuated by pivotal moments that have reshaped the course of events. Your world history class will delve into these turning points, from revolutions to conflicts, enabling you to grasp their significance and impact. You will develop critical thinking. By engaging with historical evidence and perspectives, you will hone your critical thinking skills. You learn to evaluate sources, consider multiple viewpoints, and draw informed conclusions. A valuable asset in any academic or professional endeavor. You will also enhance research and writing skills. You will write, and it's a cornerstone of your world history class. Through research papers, essays, you learn how to construct compelling arguments, synthesize information, and communicate your insights effectively. And you will also navigate some, uh, some ethical dilemmas. Uh, history often presents us with ethical dilemmas and complex moral questions. Your world history class will encourage thoughtful discussions about the choices societies and individuals have made, fostering empathy and a deeper awareness of the human experience. You will also study some current events and you relate them to some uh, past events. While your journey through centuries of history, your world history class will also draw connections to the present day. By understanding the past, you will better be equipped to analyze contemporary global issues and make informed decisions as responsible as ever. You will also cultivate a global perspective as you progress through your world history class. You will cultivate a broader worldview. You will gain insight into the challenges and opportunities faced by different societies. You will foster empathy and a sense of interconnectedness with the global community. How do we study history? We will connect events together, display key information, soak up books and films. What are some main skills that we will be studying in history? Uh, what are the objectives? You will know and understand. You will investigate later on. You all along the way you will think critically and you of course every single time you have to communicate. The books that are to be covered, it's part one World History One, which was given uh, in the previous years, and then part two World History Two. And this is the book, it's Pearson. So the first unit that is to be covered in World History 2 is called New Global Connections, Topic 11. The lessons are Europeans explore overseas, Europeans gain foothold in Asia, Europeans conquests in the Americas, European colonies in North America, the slave trade and its impact on Africa, effects of the global contact. The second unit, which is Topic 12, is Absolutism and Revolution, Absolute monarchy in Spain and France, 
the rise of Austria, Prussia and Russia, triumph of parliament in England, the enlightenment, the American revolution, the French revolution begins, a radical phase, the age of Napoleon. For topic 13, the industrial revolution, the industrial revolution begins, social impact of industrialism, the second industrial revolution, changing ways in life and thought. As for nationalism and the spread of democracy, topic 14, the lessons to be covered are revolutions that sweep Europe, Latin American nations with independence, the unification of Germany, the unification of Italy, dem uh, democratic reforms in Britain, divisions and dem democracy in France, growth of the United States, na nationalism in Eastern Europe and Russia. When it comes to topic 15, it is the imperialism, the new imperialism, European colonies in Africa, Europe and the Muslim world, India becomes a British colony, China and the West world, the modernization of Japan, South Asia and the Pacific, the America and the age of imperialism. Topic 16, World War I and the Russian Revolution, World War I begins, fighting the Great War, World War ends, a revolution in Russia. As for topic 17, which is the world between the wars, revolution and the nationalism in Latin America, nationalist movement in Africa and the Middle East, India seeks self-rule, new forces in China and Japan, the West after World War I, face, fascism uh, emerges in Italy, the Soviet Union under Stalin, uh, the rise of the Nazi Germany. Last but not least is topic 18, World War II, aggression, appeasement and war, Axis powers advance, the Allies turn the tide, victory of the Allies. And there you have it, a glimpse into the exciting voyage that awaits you in your high school world history classes too. Prepare to explore civilizations, connect with the past and delve into new skills that extend far beyond the classroom. Embrace the adventure and remember that through the study of history, you're not just learning about the past, you're shaping the future. Thank you so much.